Hey guys, today we're in Newport, California. We're gonna to talk to you a little bit about Yamaha engines, how to make sure that your engine is running properly and things to look for before you head out to water to go fishing or just take the family cruising. We're in Shock Boats in Newport Beach, California. Standing next to me is George. Hey George, thanks right. for helping us out you today. You betcha buddy, no problem at all. So we wanna give our viewers a little bit of heads up. You know, they getting ready to turn the key. What are some of the things they should do before they even start the engine? Well, I think uh, overall inspection of the boat first of all, um, safety items, things like that. But the motor, if you know you're gonna be going in a distance, we always wanna check your oil. You always wanna check for water flow. Um, oil checking is really easy to do. There's a little uh, dipstick right here on the starboard side of the engine. You can check that out. There's a hash mark. We like it two thirds of the way up the hash. This is something you should do regularly, but normally you would never have to add, add oil. If you do have to add oil, it's real, it's real obvious. There's a yellow cap right on the top of the power head here. Really easy to add oil. Yeah, but you should never start your boat without checking the oil. It's, it's smart to check the oil prior to starting the boat. Right. It really is. And there's some other little basic tips they should look for? Um, well, when trimming the motor down after checking oil and or the water flow, we want to make sure you don't see anything on the water, such as any kind of fluid, oil slicks, anything like that, just to make sure you're not leaking hydraulic fluid, even steering fluid and crankcase oil or even lower unit oil. There's, there's there quite a, a bit going on. Do, the, do they need to check any wires or anything? Everything should be pretty well set. No, right? system checks on the boat should tell you everything there, especially on the Yamaha gauge. It'll tell you whether you're getting char charge output from the engine right there on the system view on okay. the command link. And I like your number one tip. If you start the boat and you don't see the water flowing out, you better That's shut key. it off. It's very key. Now, re sometimes the water flow could be just a little bit of salt line calcium buildup at the the exit point right. and a simple paper clip trick will will clear that up if that is an issue and a lot right. of people will call me with that problem and i'll tell them that and they'll call me back saying it was just a simple little salt jam and All that right. frees up the issue those are good little tips and if you don't take the time to check your oil before you head out you may end up bringing your engine into a dealership like this and have major repairs. And it's just a two minute thing, just to pull off Quite the cover simple. and check. Quite simple, really easy to check. Oh, right, well, thanks George. You betcha buddy. All right, that's your little tip today from Shock Boats here in Newport Beach. Thanks guys, I'll talk to y'all really soon.